The first iOS 14.7 developer beta was released today, and while it doesn't contain a lot of user-facing features, it does include one interesting feature for HomePod users. Set a new bagel timer for seven minutes. Seven minute new bagel timer, counting down. So I installed the iOS 14.7 developer beta one on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I have to be honest and say, I really just didn't know what to expect from this beta. Now, after some digging around, it turns out there really isn't much new in this developer beta, but there is one interesting feature related to HomePod users, more specifically related to HomePod timers. So of course you can ask Siri on your HomePod to set a new timer. Uh, you can even set multiple timers, even label those timers via your voice commands, but there's no way to actually add a new timer, see a new timer, or manage that timer via the home app like you can an alarm. And of course you cannot ask Siri to set a timer on your HomePod from your iPhone. So basically there's just sort of a disconnect uh, between your HomePod and your iPhone when it comes to viewing and managing timers. But the good news is that in iOS 14.7, Apple has begun to lay the groundwork to manage timers on your HomePod from your iPhone. So here's the home app. Look what we have there. So you see a brand new, well, it's a placeholder now, placeholder heading and the ability to add a new timer. Just tap that button there. And now you can even add a label and all these are placeholders. Obviously this is still in development. It is a beta, but you can see the groundwork is being laid already. So you can give your timer a name and you can set the amount of hours, the amount of minutes, and of course the amount of seconds as well. And all this will of course be cleaned up once iOS 14 or once this feature does ship to customers. So you can just add your timer and there we go. So the timer appears right below your alarms. So you get the name of the timer, the amount of time remaining. You see the pause button, which also symbolizes the amount of time remaining on the outer circle. You can play and pause just like that. And the X button allows you to cancel the timer tap like that. Now you can also swipe left to delete the timer like that. Now let's talk about adding multiple timers. So that is of course possible. So we're going to just give it a different name here, give it a time. And what you'll notice is that the timers are sorted from the least amount of time remaining to the most amount of time remaining. So if you have a whole bunch of timers out there, that's going to make it a little bit easier to stay organized with regard to your timers. But again, this is just half the story because we're setting this up on our HomePod. So that means that we're going to be able to reference these timers on our HomePod and the changes will be reflected in both directions. So let's go ahead and show you this right now. Let's head over to our HomePod and check it out. Cancel my bagel timer. Bagel timer canceled. How much time is left on the dog walking timer? Dog walking timer with one hour, 57 minutes and 38 seconds remaining. Set a new bagel timer for seven minutes. Seven minute new bagel timer, counting down. Delete the noodles timer. Noodles timer canceled. Pause the dog walking timer. Dog walking timer paused at one hour, 57 minutes and 15 seconds. Delete the new bagel timer. New bagel timer canceled. Resume the dog walking timer. Dog walking timer resuming. One hour, 57 minutes and 15 seconds. Starting now. Delete all timers. You have two timers running. Are you sure you want to cancel them? Yes. Canceled. So that's a first look at the ability to manage timers on your HomePod from within the Home app on your iPhone. Now you will need to be running the latest HomePod beta as well alongside the iOS 14.7 beta on your iOS device. If you have any questions or anything, let me know down below in the comment section. We'll also have a post over at 9to5Mac discussing this further. Thumbs up if you appreciate this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with the 9to5Mac.